Hey guys, what's up? It's your favorite girl here, X21. And I'm back at it with another video here on my main channel. If this is your first time seeing me, my name's Bex, my name's Becca, my name's Rebecca. You can call me whatever you like, sis, but don't call me Becky. Oh, we just woke up, okay? That's why I, I can't give y'all a good oh, okay? But as you guys saw in the title, this is the at I am surviving vegan grapefruit detox. I guess you would call it a challenge. I just got off a water fast. Well, I technically am still not off of it because I haven't eaten anything. We're gonna start it now. So it is 8 a.m. And on the schedule at 8 a.m., you're supposed to drink 40 ounces of water. If you guys wanna know how much 40 ounces of water is, this is how much 40 ounces of water is. Okay, <laughs> I have to drink um, that at 8 a.m., which is now. Then I have to drink one at 10. Then at 12, I will have a two grapefruits blended in water. Spring water to be exact. That's what is going to happen right now. It's going to be really hard to drink this because that's a lot of water for me. For the love of the detox, right? After my water fast, if you guys want to know what happened, how much weight I lost, I actually lost double digits. I lost a lot of weight. I don't know if y'all can tell. I definitely lost more weight than I did on that lemonade cleanse. So, <laughs> hallelujah. Hey, thank you, God. Okay. Thank you, God. Okay. Because <laughs> we're getting this weight off. Okay, so this detox, the average person loses about 15 to 20 pounds. That will put me at a good point, baby, okay? I'll, that, I'll be my, at my first goal that I want to be at for my my birthday, which is coming next month. So we're in there like swimwear, period, okay? Um, but I'm gonna take you along with me along this journey for these next three days. I'm gonna tell you guys everything you have to do. It's a free detox that she shares. Um, I'm also gonna do her other detox, but I'm gonna wait a little bit and just kind of eat raw. So if you guys follow my health channel, at Because Health, it's not that hard, it's like, a play on words. My name, Beck, it's literally like Becca U-S-E Health. Because Health. Some people are like, I can't find your channel. I don't know. I thought I made it really easy, but I guess not. So we're going to get started. I'm excited. Again, it's free. Go to her page on Instagram. I, at I am surviving vegan. Okay, it's not that hard. At I am surviving vegan. I'll leave it down below in the description as well. In her description box, she has a little thing that you can text and you'll get the whole meal plan, okay? I have some allergies because of my cat. I ha actually have some bee pollen. So I'm going to take a little bit of bee pollen. All right, here we go. All right, y'all. I'm gonna finish this water because y'all obviously don't need to see me drinking a bunch of water right now. I'll be back after I finish it or almost. All right, y'all. So it's actually 9:14 and I'm finishing the water. I don't know if you can see. It's actually really fucking hard to do this in like an hour, but we're doing it. I'll continue to check in with you every time I have to do something so you guys know what's popping. Now it is 10 and we have to drink another body, shoddy. I'm not excited for this. <clears throat> my throat is a little like, <clears throat> I took some bee pollen, like just a little pinch uh, to help with my allergies and so far it's helped, so. There we go. I know that's not necessarily part of the thing, but so I'll drink this 40. I have to drink it before 12 essentially and then start moving on. So then 12, we can have another one. Hey guys, so I actually have somewhere to be today and I just want to show you guys this. It is 12.04. There you go. It's 12.04. I'm about to finish my last little bit and I have to drink another one by two. This is really hard and challenging, but it's keeping me full. It's keeping my energy up. It's like, like I'm good. I don't feel weak. Like this is better than the water fast. Okay. Might I say, but I have somewhere to go. So you guys probably won't see me on hour two or hour four, but I'll definitely be here hour six and I'll explain to you guys about those, which essentially those are just a blended or two blended grapefruit with some water. I think it's 16 ounces of water, but I'm gonna end up just taking those to go just in case because I don't know how long I'm gonna be out. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey guys, so it's sick. It's a lot later than I thought we were gonna be gone for. So, so let me talk about 
for me at least. So we drank the water. Every two every two hours you have to do something. So then we had the blended drink with the grapefruit. I drank about a quarter of mine. Alden drank all of his, but we still missed one. And now we're supposed to eat a grapefruit and I'm just gonna eat the grapefruit. I messed up today. It, shit's not perfect. It never, it never will be, you know? And I can't guilt myself or shame myself for, for doing this. This is the first time I started eating again and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna be mad or angry at myself for being delayed. Now that I am eating though today, essentially, I do want regular food again. Being that I was on a water fast, I can't just hop off and just be like, oh, I'm just gonna start eating because I'm gonna get sick. You know, if you know me, you know I don't like getting sick. I'm just gonna put up with it. It's good. It's just, to me, it's really sweet. I know grapefruits are bitter, but since I haven't been eating nothing, like, it is really sweet. I think the next thing is we have to have a blended grapefruit, which I'll have. You know, when it comes to diets, detoxes, and stuff like that, don't try and be too hard on yourself for not 100% keeping up. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do two blended grapefruits again at and then that will be that'll be it I don't want to be too hard on myself and like oh why didn't you do this you should have did this you know because that does nothing but just bring negativity on you you know so try not to do that to yourself I just lost double digit pounds bitch I lost a lot of weight okay more than 15 and I did that in eight days so I'm definitely not gonna be hard on myself you know that was a huge accomplishment even this is hard but you know I know we're gonna have the laxative pills essentially so I'm gonna be having bowel movements and stuff like that so you know I'm gonna do what's best and you guys can do this detox I think she said once a week I'll come back later to Today. Hey guys, so it's about 8.30, 8.40. There we go. At eight, you're supposed to do two blended grapefruits. So I'm gonna have these grapefruits. I'm so tired. I don't know if you guys can tell. I am so exhausted. I'm so ready for bed. So I definitely, definitely will be showering and going to sleep after this. Cause I'm uh, tired. Uh, there's a couple of things that I wanted to do before I fell asleep, but maybe that's not gonna be the case. It's really not bad. I mean, of course it tastes a little bitter, but it's not too bad for the grapefruits okay but i'm gonna try and hurry up and drink this because i am so done i wouldn't say anything negative about this so far it, the only thing is like it's really hard to get up and just be drinking all this water see you guys later hey guys so it's monday hello grand rising everybody Okay, um, I'm exhausted. I don't know if you guys can tell. I try to go to bed around 12, but <laughs> I got interrupted twice every time I kept trying to go to bed. I didn't end up going to bed till three, like past three. That's so when my eyes look like this, like, this one is almost Forrest Whitaker, you see what I'm saying? So it's about nine-ish. It's not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drinking my water. I'm gonna start drinking my water now. I'll probably nap later. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, cause this is ridiculous. I like, I, I literally, I physically can't. I lost a pound already, so that's freaking awesome. So total, we are down 17 pounds. Let me talk to you guys about last night because that that's super important. So last night, I like my stomach kept hurting. Like I had to take a poop, right? My stomach kept hurting. Like I gotta take a boo boo, and I was like, "What is going on? What's going on?" So I sit on the toilet. This is gonna get really TMI. So I'll put a little skip button right here if you don't want to hear this but i felt like this was really important especially coming off of a water fast as you guys know on my water fast of course you're not going to have that many bowel movements i had some and i explained that to you guys in the video if you guys want more info watch that one i haven't really pooped in a couple of days i kind of sat down and i ended up having a poop it was like a little nugget like <laughs> but it was hard okay but let me tell y'all it came with so so much mucus it was like thick ass mucus and like it was as much mucus as there was poop if not a little more it was as thick and like slime like i mean i didn't touch it but you could tell it's like slimy it was so gross it's like a dark snot almost like a, a brown yellowish snot it was it was it was nasty but to know that that was in my body is just like so all of that mucus was inside me. All of that mucus was in my gut this whole time. 
and this is why it's very important that we should be doing detoxes because we think like our body is clean like oh be i'm vegan i'm vegan you know i'm good i'm good i'm good regardless you're vegan or not i don't even care if you're raw fucking vegan you should be doing detoxes every six months because your body still accumulates weight things still happen okay you might do something on accident unintentionally by improper food pairing or other things of that sort and then here you are so definitely i suggest you guys kind of look into that and we'll be back so of course they're like cutting the grass right when i'm about to record but it is one i'm a little late but i'm finishing my water from 12 and then so i have to drink another water and at two we're supposed to do a blended drink with a grapefruit or two grapefruit it's hard to keep up okay I'm gonna be honest with y'all super hard to keep up today because i'm so tired but i'm trying trying to do what i can we want to say thank the lord thank the lord okay because i finished um my water finally it was hard i feel very gassed feels like it's kind of stuck a little bit but it's all right here we are here we are so i have my grapefruit blended drink okay so it's two grapefruits i have uh this and i have two more cups because i have to finish it all obviously it's not bad but i'm gonna go ahead and drink this up and then i'm good for another two hours thanks a lot all right i'll see y'all later i must say this drink make you drink it like this because it's smooth it's almost like it is water obviously but you don't like expect the chunks and you be like like it's hot you know you eat hot food like, like <laughs> that's exactly what it's like i mean it's not too bad it's decent it's doable now it's starting to be a little bit like intense because we were fell behind and then now trying to catch up it's like really fucking hard to do this and you feel like full you feel bloated i'm almost ready to skip a step at this point but the second. <laughs> I'm gonna stick Same through it. I'm gonna stick to it. As you see, I'm tired. I was just napping. But we're back again because we're supposed to have one grapefruit with 12 ounces of water, which is less. It's just one of these. Alden's making his own right now. I mean, he made this one too, but I'm over it. Um, it is 4:25 this time, so we caught it a little early. And then at six, we have to eat two grapefruits, and then we'll drink another 12 ounce in one again which isn't that bad i know i'm tired but like i still have pretty good energy besides this it's really not that bad it's just like you can't get off time or schedule or else like you're kind of hey guys so i'm back um it is sick and i'm supposed to have two grapefruit so let me talk about some things since i was on the water fast obviously i wasn't using the restroom regularly like a normal person would i am a little backed up i'm gonna be honest i'm a little backed up and it's causing me a lot of discomfort during this fast and i really feel like i have to use the restroom but i really can't i got two nuggets out again here tmi so skip ahead to this point because i'm gonna talk a little bit it's mucusy still like i was telling you like that thick mucus which is like gross but that's what was in my body like that's probably been there for a minute like because i don't eat meat anymore usually mucus is caused by me sometimes it's caused caused by preserved foods but i don't eat meat and i haven't eaten meat for oh, over a year for sure that's kind of weird let me uh peel my grapefruit while i'm talking to you guys that's like super weird and nasty like to know that this stuff is in your body but you know if you don't detox or you don't cleanse that's the result that you get or when you eat improperly etc but yeah my stomach is starting to feel really full very bloated like i don't even want to eat these grapefruits for real like i'm yeah i'm a little hungry i'm not gonna lie just the discomfort in my stomach is like no you know i tried to sit on the toilet i tried to bring my knees up i tried to do you know i tried to actually lay on my stomach i don't know maybe 15 minutes and i was kind of like rocking my hips back and forth so to put some pressure on my stomach which it, it's helping but it's not working enough with that being said sadly i think i'm going to have to do the enema on the grapefruit detox she has an enema Ooh, these are really juicy i'm just gonna eat it like this can I do a mukbang? The enema, you have to do like olive oil, lime juice, or whatever, of course. I have done one in the past, I'm not gonna lie, a long time ago though. You know, I don't wanna 
resort to that, but like my body wants to clean itself out. I'm probably gonna go pick that up later. I don't wanna pick it up. I do not wanna pick it up at all. You know, if it's gonna help me, it's gonna help my body, it's gonna help my weight loss. You know, I'd rather do this during a cleanse than after a cleanse. Mind you guys, I'm pretty much gonna be going raw vegan essentially. You want some? Your girl's just gonna have to do an enema and I'll talk to you guys about that experience, etc. Uh, it's not like too bad that I, you know, I can't poop right now. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, I just got off a water fast, of course, you know. But I wanted to do the water fast, cleanse my cells, you know, let my body detox itself. And then now that I'm actually doing a detox, it can actually, like, all that stuff that was there can actually come out. But I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I apologize if my cat starts crying. He's playing right now. It's nine. We made this at eight, but um, I'm pretty much just finishing it up now. You're supposed to do one blended with uh, 12 ounces of water. This one's a little like, a little better, a lot easier than the original large amount that you're supposed to take. I'm still feeling the pressure kind of in my stomach and I still feel like I got these bathrooms. Enema is probably definitely gonna happen, AKA why I'm dressed so I can go to the store, get all the ingredients. I pretty much only need a lime, we have distilled water and then I need lime, distilled water, and olive oil, which we don't have the olive oil or the lime. I'm gonna have to go get that along with the little enema tube um, and later I'll be performing that. I guess you guys get to watch me. That'll probably be fun to watch. Okay guys, so I'm in the bathroom. I have the enema. So I can't use this liquid for this diet. I didn't ask why did I get naked and I was like, you know what, I have no idea. <laughs> So we're naked. But you have to clean this out really well, remove all this liquid because you're not using this. I have to get distilled water, half the juice from a lime, and I believe a teaspoon of olive oil. And I'm supposed to boil those. Yeah, not excited. But you guys will be here for the TMI because you that's what I do here. Duh. Bitch, duh. <laughs> Where have you been? All right, so let's go ahead and clean this up, prepare the other stuff, and then I'll meet you guys on the floor right when I'm ready. We're now doing the nitty gritty. Um, I'm really not excited for this. Apparently you're supposed to lay on your left side and squeeze the bottle and get your legs curled. Again, I'm not fucking ready for this, but it feels so uncomfortable. My body looks like pre-water cleanse. Like, it, I look so bloated. I'm very uncomfortable and I'm super tired. So, um, here is the bottle. Um, I put a little bit of olive oil on the tip. She said to use aloe, but like, we don't really have aloe plant. I only have like aloe water. <laughs> Let me try and get this in my butt. Whoa. Drop the bottle. See this? Okay, it's in. It's in. That was pretty easy. It's a small thing. Okay. And now I have to squeeze. Is it going? Okay, it's going in my butt. I can't feel it. By the way, if you guys have to do this, make sure you guys put a towel down. Okay, now I'm starting to fill it a little bit. We're about halfway through the bottle. Take a breath. I can't laugh, I can't laugh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ooh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Oh my God. Okay, now it's starting to get really uncomfortable. Okay, I have to take it out because I really feel like I have to use the restroom. We really got like a quarter of the bottle but i'll be back because i really feel like i gotta poop now <laughs> okay guys take two so it worked a lot uh, very quickly as soon as i got a quarter of it in it was like okay and i couldn't hold it but a lot came out of course there was still a lot of mucus which is a good thing you know you want to rid your body of your toxins that's the whole point you know what i mean a lot of people don't like to do her cleanses because they're so afraid of the enema but honestly it's really not that if a deal it's just cleaning out your insides and when you're somebody like me who just got off a water fast and can't use the restroom it's beautiful relief like it feels great i'm gonna attempt to put this back okay so it's back in and we're just gonna start squeezing away this time i'm sure a lot more is gonna be able to go through you know guys want to make sure that you're lightly squeezing filling up again starting to get to capacity i'm definitely more than halfway in i feel like i can't take anymore we got a lot that time um, i'm gonna kind of sit here for a second i can feel it coming it's probably gonna come within like a minute or two so i'm gonna go ahead and sit back on the toilet Ugh. I'm really coming. Okay, I'm back for a third round. Hopefully this is the last round. I'm trying to shake the bottle. Again, this is kind of what we're working with. 
I'm losing a lot of mucus. Like a lot of mucus is coming out of my anus. Okay, so here we go. Squeeze, squeeze. I think we'll pretty much be able to get the full bottle in there. Again, I'm laying on my left side and my knees are curled up. That was Orisha Osh Oshun's recommendation for this. I actually kind of feel like I gotta go again already. Ooh, let me take that out. We got a lot of the bottle in there. And I must tell you guys, I already have to go again. That was fast. Round four. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this in as much as I can. I mean, you can't really squeeze the bottle that much. I'm gonna do my best and I don't wanna just shove air up there because then I'm gonna be gassy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right in. The butthole's actually pretty sore. It's pretty sore now. <laughs> from all this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try and squeeze the rest in there. It doesn't feel weird, you just feel like your stomach makes you feel like you have to use the restroom, but it's not that bad. I'm gonna sit for a little bit. I can already feel my stomach kind of working. So I'm gonna try and sit as long as I can and then use the restroom again and then I'll tell you guys about my night, all right? Okay, here I am laying down. I've been laying down for a minute now. I thought I had to go to the bathroom again when I sat down, but I didn't. My stomach feels like I have to use the restroom again, but it's definitely not to the discomfort level that it was earlier. That discomfort was unreal. I don't think that I'll probably be using the bathroom anymore, but a lot came out, like a lot. There was a lot of mucus. It was a lot. It was backed up. There's nothing more that I could say, but I was backed up from that water fast that I did. So if I were to do this again, I would probably eat a high fiber diet or like eat high fiber fruits for a couple of days and then I would go in into this detox. That's one thing that I kind of regret because now I'm having a harder time. It's not the worst thing, so don't take it like, oh my God, it's so bad. Really not the worst thing, but definitely I would have did it like that or did smoothies and then high fiber fruit smoothies pretty much essentially all day and that's just kind of how I would have done it at least for like three days or two days or so and then went into this because the harshness on my stomach it's hard but again I do feel like I have to use the restroom so I think tomorrow I'll probably have to use the bathroom besides that fact we're pretty good here you know I'll see you guys tomorrow on the rising let you guys know how I'm feeling and yeah see y'all in a little bit hey guys so here we are 8 a.m. okay I just woke up essentially. That's why I'm whispering. I got my little setup here, okay? I'm rest to go. I'm probably gonna try and drink this water real quick. This 40 ounces and go right, go back to sleep. You know, that uh, this has been the hardest part of everything is getting up and doing this because I end up going to bed late. You know, I had to talk with all in for an hour and then that pushed back time and then I had to go to the store and then my stomach was just hurting too bad for me to do anything at that point like everything escalated fast so time was like extremely delayed due to all this and then i didn't end up like laying in bed to like want something and the day before that it was fucking 3 a.m like 3 30. i'm not i can't do it like I, I just it's not possible i don't mind being on the circadian rhythm but i literally need to start going to bed early i think it's easier for people who have kids and stuff because their kids get up early so they don't have like an issue or people who are rising people you know they get up real early i mean i can be that person usually no i i like to sleep until at least like nine but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and drink my water maybe nap for about an hour or so and then get up drink my next batch of water my nap again and then get up oh for those of you who want to know about the enema situation my stomach feels a little bloated but it doesn't look like it like there's a little sensitivity there because i haven't i haven't gone to the bathroom like that in a long long time okay it was a lot that came out i mean it relieved the pressure that i had and all the pain and stuff so that's good but i do feel like i just need to rest to let my body kind of chill i will say my face looks great as far as like acne which i told you guys that's exactly what was gonna happen all i have is a couple bumps over here but i have nothing on this side so i'll see you guys later hey guys so i'm sorry but i missed a i missed a little bit so i drank the first 40 ounces of water i drank the second one but i couldn't do the third one because we ran out of water somebody didn't tell me we were out of water yesterday you know we went grocery shopping but i also went grocery shopping for the week because i'm gonna do essentially a raw diet uh i will 
will be showing you guys that on my health channel. I gotta remember which channel this is. So I'll be showing you guys that on my health channel. So make sure you guys go over there for more recipes and things of that sort so I can show you exactly what I'm gonna be. But now I'm going to go ahead. I did drink some water, but it wasn't like the spring water. And I didn't, I drank about uh, 20 <laughs> ounces. So it was like half. I have, I've been very gassy today, which I'm not surprised because of the enema I did. I noticed my stomach gets a little uncomfortable and then that's like, I'm starting to get the cues. Okay, you need to, you need two. I'm gonna go ahead and drink my grapefruit drink. Uh, I have two cups. So yeah, my blended grapefruit and my water. And then I'll be back later, about 3.24. So I'm definitely behind. I was supposed to have this at two, but I wanted to shower and stuff, you know, wash my ass and yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I just want to like show you guys this, but I just feel like it's kind of redundant for me to be on here the whole time. Like we have some interesting parts, we have some boring parts, we have like all kinds of stuff. Nothing really changes every day, but I want to show you guys me going through this process and stuff. The grocery shopping was pretty cool. I actually spent less money than I thought I was. I'll see you guys later, of course, when I come back. It'll probably be like 4.20, 4.30 by the time I come back, because this needs to like settle a little bit. So I want to tell you what's going on. So I fell behind. <laughs> like I really, really, really fell behind. I did my drink at two. I didn't do it at four and I didn't do it at six because I took a nap. Um, here we are at eight and I'm just eating my grapefruit now because I'm like, you know, the time I kind of missed some spots, but I can make do. It's not that big of a deal. So I ate one grapefruit. I still have one more grapefruit to eat. Definitely an experience that was interesting. Would I do it again? Yeah, I probably would. But I'm definitely gonna have some more water tonight and a couple of other things. So I made you a Hey guys, so this is the video to end the grapefruit detox and I want to tell you guys about my journey and my experience. So things first, I know you guys want to know how much weight I lost. I lost four pounds on top of the weight that I already lost from the water fast. And if you want to know my complete total, then you guys got to head over to my health channel and I will tell you guys about that experience. I'm sure I probably look very slim and slender on here to you guys. But well, okay, but let me continue. I will say that the enema, let's talk about the enema. The enema was interesting, okay? I did one about 10 years ago. It wasn't that bad, and I think I actually did one at 18. I think I had like, I've done it twice. It wasn't that bad, but it just made my stomach very sensitive. So that night, it was kind of hard for me to sleep and lay down because I kept feeling myself like rolling and moving and like, it, it was just a lot going on there, okay? It just really was really hard for me to sleep, but it wasn't that uncomfortable. I was so uncomfortable that it felt good to release that. So if you guys are planning on kind of following in my footsteps and doing the water fast, and the grapefruit detox. I suggest that you guys give it at least two days. Eat some high fiber fruit. You guys can easily type that up, Google that, okay? Only mix subacidic and acidic fruit groups together. Essentially, that's the only two that are really high fiber, but that's that'll be the perfect thing for you not only will you lose weight it'll help regulate your bowels and then as soon as you guys get into that grapefruit detox it won't be so harsh on the stomach okay and you'll kind of already be used to the uh, subacidic feel because I believe grapefruits are subacidic if not acidic so your body's still gonna be on the same pathway okay I did notice that I I was losing inches I mean of course I'm still losing inches I'm sure you guys can definitely tell the difference within my face alone not even mentioning my skin cleared up so much my baby my skin has become amazing okay there's a lot of things that I'm doing that I am taking care of my skin the detoxes are really helping the skin clear up so that's really great I didn't really notice any energy depletion in the grapefruit detox I actually had energy uh, I was slightly hungry but not super hungry but my boyfriend did it the same time as I did and he was actually hungry but he didn't want to do the spinach thing that you're supposed to do if you're used to eating larger portions of food if you're used to eating big full portions and a lot of food then yes 
you are going to be hungry on this detox. Unfortunately, that's just what it's gonna be. So I suggest that if you're struggling or you're having those issues that you are ready before that, go ahead and take a few steps back, baby. Stop eating so much and lower your portions and then do the detox so it won't be so hard on you and your body, okay? Because we don't want you to starve that it's not the purpose. One thing that I did different from my boyfriend is I took my supplements. I have a video on supplements already. I'm not gonna get into it, but the main thing that helped, I know for sure, is that sea moss and bladder wax mixture that I have. That alone gives me all the nutrients I need. So I was never depleted. I never felt like I was depleted. It was never like not enough. Will I do this again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anytime I need to lose weight, anytime I feel like I need to detox, anytime I want something quick, I'll do this weight or do this weight loss thing because it really helped. Oh, and one of the last, last, last thing I want to talk about is the supplement that she recommends for you guys to use. You are not supposed to use that if you're pregnant, birth control, there's also a couple other things. You're not supposed to even do the detox if you are pregnant. So you guys want to read those disclaimers on there. I am not in control of what you do with your body. So you can't sue me bitch okay but <laughs> anyway on the pills you i think she says don't take over 350 but the pills that i got were about 270 milligrams so i only took one and it really wasn't that bad you guys can definitely take those pills they're not harsh on the stomach they're not crazy it just makes you use the restroom uh, the total amount of times my boyfriend used the bathroom was ridiculous and that's coming from somebody who was on a normal veganish diet kind of more carbs than not so he definitely was using the restroom a lot what i can say now after the fact of the detox is i eat so much less I'm, I'm doing raw vegan currently right now, so that's another reason why I'm losing so much weight and why you guys can see such a huge difference in my body, my face, and everything. I noticed that I do have more energy. Like, I feel better on the inside. I'm ready to go. You know, my skin is glowing now. We're at a good point in my skin. And you guys can see that everything is kind of coming to now. Easier for my food to digest. I am properly food pairing. I'll have a video on that later. Don't ask me about food pairing right now it's very difficult for now just go to I, at I am surviving vegan she has some videos on it that she recently did so just try and focus on those and hone in on on that because I'm still learning when I become a pro I will give you guys a video on food pairing but obviously I'm doing it right enough right now <laughs> but yeah so definitely it's really helping with my stomach my digestion it helps with it helped me lose weight and it's helping me push forward in weight loss i'm not starving today i'm fasting i fast every saturday as you guys know four day fasting the detox was great it was wonderful she recommends that you guys could do this about once a week don't be obsessive with it if you had any issues as far as like eating disorders then I don't recommend you guys do these things. Don't, do not take on these tasks. Don't do these videos. This is not meant for you. I, I struggled with that when I, about 10 years ago. And thank the Lord I came out of that, okay? You know, it's, it's harder to transition and then start doing detoxes and stuff. You know, you want a healthy body, but you need the vessel and your mind healthy first. So focus on your mind and your inner self, and then we can move forward. I will also have a video about weight loss and the emotional side behind weight loss and what's keeping you from actually losing that weight because maybe a lot was keeping me from losing that weight let me tell you but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions or anything leave it down below arisha oshun really doesn't answer anybody's questions unfortunately so just leave everything down below so then i'll let you guys know what's up and try and help and guide you guys on this detox if you need it i know that i do 100 percent full proof but i still lost the weight i still feel good and it really worked so anyway thank you guys so oh my voice cracked thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video peace